And now we'll take a look at the past tenses. First, focusing on the past simple tense. Here, the past simple tense is used to express completed actions in the past. Whether the past be a few seconds ago, or whether they be years or ages ago, doesn't matter. To make positive sentences, we have our subject, and the subject could be anything from I, you, we, they, it, he, she. And now we conjugate or change our verb most often by adding ed. For the negative sentences, rather than changing the verb, the main verb, we add our helping verb, again the auxiliary verb, in this case being do. So I've changed do to did to indicate the past, and it results in a sentence structure such as I did not work. Now, did not is the full form. Obviously, we can contract this into didn't. Here, we have did I work. Again, you can see the inversion of the position of the helping verb and the subject to help us create our question. Now, when we use did, again, we can use did for any of the subjects in our sentence from I or he, she, etc. In terms of spelling these conjugated verbs, of course, there are some issues that we have to look at, especially when considering some patterns. So, again, we have our Y changes to dropping the Y and adding IED. And when we have a vowel, uh, I'm sorry, a consonant, vowel, consonant, we double the consonant in question and finally add ED. These aren't irregular verbs, they're just irregular spellings for some verb conjugations. Our irregular verbs change their form altogether. So a few examples would be be going to was or were, depending on the subject of the sentence, go to went, have to had, give to gave, write to wrote. Of course, there are further irregular verbs, which I encourage you to look up in your materials or either online.